Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is about this little Bedini motor. Um, it's all 3D printed. For those of you that have been following my channel, you saw this um, a little while back. It was actually this one. And did a couple updates on it, and it's on my site uh, for sale. And some of the updates are the circuit. We have a 25 watt 1K pot permanent. Um, we have a small light as a primary resistor, and then we have the SG generator mode switch, on and off switch, and um, yeah, it's a really nice little unit. Um, the coil is number 20 and 26, 420, 420 turns, and then we have eight magnets on the rotor of an 8mm shaft, and um, it's all 3D printed, so this is a indoor unit only. And um, yeah, went so nice. So we're just gonna give it a little, little test run. So put this up here. So when you start this motor, um, you have the pot. Um, you want to go all the way to full, um, full power or you know lowest resistance, obviously. So we just turn it on. This is on SG on this side on the left, and then all we do is just give it a little, a little kick, and it starts to go. So, in order to optimize this, you just take this pot and um, kind of goes through gears, and um, you can see the scope. So this is basically full power as it comes up to speed. Um, this is our output right now. And here's our battery voltage that we're charging. This is run battery. It's like a three amp hour. This is seven amp hour battery, and. Um, yeah, so in order to optimize this, you just take the pot and you start bringing the resistance up. And you can hear the motor speed up. You just keep going until the RPMs maximize. So right around 300 milliamps. And uh, yeah, so this kit's not coming with the fan, obviously, but it comes with the motor, the circuit, the coil, the pot. Um, all the connecting wires with the fuse and then I have a paper that details everything about it um, and then in order to go to generator mode um, once you got it kind of tuned you wanna you could switch it over you could see the amps go up and then they'll kind of come back but um, then you could back this off some more get it back down to about 300 milliamps so like 300 milliamps, 200 milliamps charging. Uh, you're about double the charge rate as the regular SG as far as normal amperage goes. And um, yeah, you could actually turn this thing all the way down. So this is basically um, the light bulb's 20 ohms. So you're 1,020 ohms of resistance. And uh, yeah, this will just settle down to with this fan anyway. This is six inch fan. Uh, I'm going to have some fans available that fit on this um, in the near future that will be on the website. But yeah, it just settles down to 200 milliamps at, at full pot. Um, your 150 milliamps output. Charge your second battery. Um, these outputs can't go to the primary battery. Everything is going into the secondary. And um, you can see on the scope here as you put the resistance up instead of one pulse per magnet now there's two because we're under load and then if we put it back on SG SG actually has four spikes per magnet so it's turned on and off four times and it runs at about a hundred milliamps and about 50 milliamps um, that's measurable um, but you know, no one takes into consideration how much voltage is so we're going to put the scope on 10 times. So we're on 10 volts, 10 times. So each square is 100 volts. So I'm going to turn off the output right now. Now you can see what, how much energy it's actually producing. Right. And then I'll put it on generator mode. So there's generator mode. And then I'll turn off the output. So quite a lot of energy. So we got 100, 200, 300, 400. So 400 plus volts coming out of this little motor at 100 to 200 milliamps. So, so that's with the fan. So let me turn this off 
and uh, we'll get this fan off of here. So now, now we could run this at full speed and we'll put it back to SG mode. And I'm going to bring our pod all the way back up to full full power or full um, lowest resistance. Starts up real easy. So you could you could hear the motor kind of changing gears. Okay, let's put this back. So you can hear the motor kind of changing gears. So what we're going to do is start increasing the resistance. And you can hear the motor accelerate. So you want to go, um, if you look at the screen, if you go past, so if you go into two pulses like that, so you heard it kind of go down, that's too much. So you want to kind of bring it back up, start it back over, and then start bringing it back again here. So your best speed is right around about half the pot. So that's, that's your max speed there, so let's check what the speed is, so we're 17, 1800 RPMs with no load. So we're right at 300 milliamps, amps into this battery is um, 100 milliamps, but just remember you have four to 500 volts pounding in this battery being charged. And if you go to generator mode, we, we actually want to back this off a little more because generator mode changes things quite a bit so it'll slow down and then you could bring the pot back a little bit here maximum charging is about a half an amp and um, there's a lot of adjustment this motor changes a lot so about right there so about half an amp and um, as the battery gets fuller you're gonna have less output so um, if your battery is like 11 volts or 11.5 when you start, you'll be getting right around 85% measurable amperage into the second battery. And then as it fills up, um, the amperage is going to be going back to about 50% or so um, under generator mode. So, And then also, I'm going to be supplying later, um, if anyone's interested, I'm going to be making these coils fit on top of here so um, when you guys order this motor if you want any additions to it you can just let me know this fits right on top and um, and you could put cap dumps or any other additions you want with it uh, I'm going to be doing some high speed cap dumps and um, quite a bit of other things with this motor coming on but this is just a basic video on it so But SG really, really hums Get this thing up to full speed and she just purrs. So these bearings are ceramic. Um, the magnets are Neo, real small Neos. And then we have a, um, a core in the middle, mild steel. So, yeah. So thanks for watching.